I'm Storm Tracker ET meteorologist Austin Haskins with your Monday weather forecast. After a gloomy and rather warm weekend across the Chippewa Valley, Boy, things have changed over the last 12 to 18 hours as a cold front has made its way through. The northwest winds have really ramped up behind it, and that has led to a fall in temperatures and wind chill values. And we don't really see much improvement in either department today. It's going to be cold and windy, single digit wind chills expected. The only good news with today's forecast is we will be seeing skies becoming sunny by the afternoon. But after today, though, we are turning warmer once again, and we'll also take a quick look at what to expect as we head into the end of the week and into the weekend with, of course, Christmas just a week away. The wind today, though, that's really going to be an issue. Sustained winds, we gradually tapering off very slowly throughout the day, but we're still going to see sustained winds 15 to 25 miles per hour throughout the day, gusting at times 30, 35 plus miles per hour. We've seen a few gusts this morning already exceed 40 miles per hour. We had a couple of flurries, light snow showers, even a little bit of that uh, gropple uh, precipitation overnight to early this morning. That is basically done with, and we will be seeing again skies turning sunny. We're clear this evening, but then the winds are going to turn southerly overnight, and that will lead to also an increase in the cloud cover heading into your Tuesday. And Tuesday overall is going to be a little bit warmer. It will still be breezy. But temperatures will be a good 10 to 15 degrees warmer compared to what we're going to see today. And then after that, uh, things stay pretty quiet even into Wednesday with a decent amount of sunshine. But the reason why we're seeing the colder weather today is because of this big dip in the jet stream. So we're looking here about 18,000 feet above the surface and we had a lower area of pressure move through in that cold front, so that's why we're seeing those colder temperatures. But you notice that ridge out to the west, and that starts to build again even into as early as tomorrow. So we, that's why we go back into the mid to upper 30s. But we see it kind of, you know, move further north, and it flattens out a little bit. And when we have that, that's what's going to lead to those warmer temperatures, and that will continue even into the weekend. But we're going to watch an area of low pressure develop in the southwest and track towards uh, the the upper Midwest by the time we get into Sunday and into early next week, and that could spell our next chance for some precipitation, which we'll uh, take a look at here. So this is the GFS, and what you're seeing here is mostly a lot of cloud cover around. It is going to be warm, and we don't see much variation in temperatures as well. But into Sunday, we'll have a little bit of rain in the forecast. It doesn't look to be anything too significant as of now, but something worth watching, and then we'll continue to see maybe even a couple of showers into Christmas Day. Now, as far as the European goes, it's a little bit of a different solution, not really showing anything for Friday or Saturday at least. Again, we can't totally rule out a couple of sprinkles or some light drizzle, but this one is showing a little bit more of a powerful system off to the west, and it'll keep us quiet really until Christmas Day. We'll mostly see rain, but then you got a little bit of some snow and a mix on the backside. So we'll be watching the trends pretty closely on this, but I will say as of now, any precip that falls this weekend is going to be light and in the form of rain. Today, though, we're dealing with the wind and the cold. Temperatures only getting back to about 24 degrees in Eau Claire. Wind chills staying in the single digits, but it gets better this evening as those winds decrease. Area wide will have highs about 20 to 25 degrees. Wind chills against single digits to the lower double digits will fall back down into the single digits and low to mid teens tonight. But look at the rise in temperatures tomorrow. Low 30s northeast, but everybody else mid to upper 30s. And then by Wednesday, a lot of us getting back into the lower 40s. And we stay around there on Thursday, which is the first day of winter, officially beginning at 927 p.m. Thursday night. And then temperatures will continue to go up from there with, again, just those slight chances of a couple isolated rain showers.